Are you looking to put your laptop or desktop computer to work, earning your favorite cryptocurrency when you're not using it? I got you covered. Maybe you just built a new PC with insane hardware, or maybe you're rocking a slick gaming laptop with some crazy hardware. When you're at school, at work, away on vacation, or sleeping, you can put your PC to work, earning you crypto in just 10 minutes. What is going on crypto miners and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you in a few easy steps how to set up your computer to earn your favorite cryptocurrency. To name just a few, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Pepe coin, Solana, XRP, and even Shiba Inu. Now let's be entirely transparent. Is this going to make you a millionaire overnight? Absolutely not. But this process will help you kick off your crypto mining journey without spending a fortune and utilizing your computer you already have at home. So are you ready to earn over 100 different types of crypto? Quick note, if you find the video helpful and want to learn more about crypto mining, feel free to subscribe for weekly crypto mining content, tutorials, and guides. All right, shall we get started? So first thing you want to do, close out everything on your computer and let's open up your web browser. Once you open up your web browser, we're going to go ahead and go to the website unminable.com. And I'll put a link directly to the website down below. Step number two, I'm going to go ahead and turn on dark mode because that is definitely bright. However, the real step number two, let's go ahead and across the top here, you can see all different options. Let's select get started. We're now going to download a desktop application that will do all the mining in the background and earn us our cryptocurrency. So right here, we have a few options available. We're going to click the one on the left that says minor files are included. Go ahead and click there, and it's going to begin a download. Now I'm using Google Chrome. So if I go to the upper right-hand corner, it's showing me that this file is downloading. Based off of what browser you're using, you might have to go to your downloads folder on your computer to go ahead and monitor and keep track of the download. All right, so you might all of a sudden get really concerned. You're seeing a message in the upper right-hand corner that says virus detected. And you're a little like a little hesitant here, not really sure where to go. You might notice that the file that got downloaded to your downloads folder is now gone. And you're like, where do we go from here? Well, miners, these files are actually batch files that are executables and they're flagged by normal browsers like Google Chrome, like Internet Explorer. If you guys try to download any batch file executables, regardless of being a miner or not, your browser is going to behave in the exact same way. Let me show you how to go ahead and work around this if you're comfortable. I'm going to leave links to a lot of the popular browsers down below, like Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, with a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this with other website instructions out there if you're looking to follow along. For today's video, I'm going to do it in Google Chrome. So in the upper right hand corner, we're going to click the three dots and we're going to go down to settings. Once settings has gone ahead and loaded on the right hand side, we're going to go to privacy and security. Once you're over at privacy and security, we're then going to click security directly in the middle. And we're going to pick the option at the bottom that says no protection, not recommended. Now we're just going to do this for this step and then come back in and turn this right back on to standard protection. So we're going to select no protection and it's going to warn us. We're going to say turn off. Let's go ahead and try this step once again. So we're going to click to download that miner. And in the upper right hand corner, it's going to say unverified download blocked. You can go ahead and click the arrow and it's going to ask us, do you want to go ahead and do this? Do you want to delete it or do you want to move forward? So we're going to say download unverified file. And we're going to start that download process all over again. All right, so you tried to download it again and you're like, oh my gosh, what is happening? It's doing it again. Well, it's not actually your browser this time. I know this is getting wild, but I promise it's definitely worth it in the end. So our next step is we have to go ahead and I know it's crazy, but Windows Defender is actually stopping us from downloading this application. So we're now going to go to the very bottom. We're going to click on the Windows key here and we're going to type in Windows Defender. And we're going to see Windows Security actually comes up, which is exactly what we want. So we're going to click on Windows Security. And actually what's happening is your real-time Windows Security is actually blocking this. So 
We're going to turn these off, but then we want to turn them right back on when we're all done. So we're going to click viruses and threat protection as our next step. Next, under virus and threat protection settings, we're going to click manage settings. And in here, there's an option for real time protection. So I'm going to slide that off. Now, keep in mind, we are going to come back in and turn this back on after our download has been successful. All right, third time's a charm. Let's try this again. We're going to click on the unminable download again. It's going to tell us it's blocking it. We're going to go ahead and click on it and do download unverified file. All right, third time's the charm and we have been successful. So now what? Well, let's go ahead and run that file. So you can either run it by double clicking on the download top right corner, or if you're under downloads here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and right click on download and do run as administrator. Now it's going to pop up, oh my gosh, malicious file. It's literally minor files, it's 2025. These are batch files and you might go, well, why, why is this happening? Well, if you guys really wanna get in, into the weeds on this, when you're running an application, traditionally, let's say it's a Microsoft file or a game that you download, it's signed by the publisher. You don't have any of these minor files signed by a publisher. Miners are not something that's public, that's available, that people are, and a business is directly behind it, so they're not actually signed, hence why they're being flagged. So in here, I'm going to click on more info, and yes, I'm going to run this anyway. I'm fully comfortable doing this. Next, we're gonna go ahead and run through. I recommend running this for anyone who uses the computer just to be safe, just to make sure it doesn't give you any permission issues later. We're gonna hit next here. We're gonna just go with the default location, which is program files, and we're going to let this install. It's gonna go ahead and finish, and we're going to have run unminable checked, and we're going to click finish. All right, so let's take a closer look here. So it has some news and information that's listed within here. Nothing really we need to look at right now. There is a dark mode at the top. Thank goodness. We're going to go ahead and check that off and look at that. And we're going to hit continue. It's now going to detect what hardware is in your computer. And there we go. It's gone ahead and determined hardware has been detected. And it says you'll be using the Kapow algorithm with an SRB miner. Remember we talked about that miner? Um, executable. You can change it later in the settings. Okay, great. Sounds good. So we're going to click next. And now it's gonna ask us select a coin or token. So what coin do you wanna earn? Well, let's take a closer look at the Aminable website and what tokens they actually support for you to earn. All right, so we're over on unminable.com. And once you're over here, you can actually just click on Minable if you ever get to a different page or you get lost in the upper left-hand corner. Now, the nice thing is, is right here, you can start earning Bitcoin if that's what you're interested in. Or if you're looking at like, hey, what else do they support? Right down here across the bottom, you have a few different previews and there's a view all option. And this is where it gets good. So at the very top, you can search for a variety of different tokens out there, but we can scroll through. So let's scroll through and we'll just take note of some notable ones that catch my eye. Cardano is in here. As we go through, we can see Bitcoin, which is awesome. We do see Dogecoin, which is another great one. Ethereum, and you might be like, wait, Ethereum, I thought Ethereum went to proof of stake and you can't mine that anymore. Well, that's okay. How Unminable works is Unminable will mine one coin, whatever is most profitable for you with your hardware, and then it pays you out in the token of choice is what you're interested in. So if you're interested in Ethereum, it does all the conversion for you and pays you out in it. So without getting too far into the weeds, because Unminable is a really massive platform, that actually has a lot of different avenues that you can leverage based off of the different mining hardware you're using. But for today, we're talking about our home computers. Scrolling through a little bit more, there's a Litecoin in there that you may have heard of. Here's Pepe that a lot of you guys might be interested in joining. Shiba Inu is listed on here. Uh, let's see what else. Monero is a well-known CPU coin. Ripple, which is XRP. So we have all of these different options available. So for me today, we're actually gonna be working with Dogecoin here. So now let's go back to our program and let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is click the first drop down, which is for the token, and we're gonna type in Dogecoin. Once we have Dogecoin selected, it's now time to enter in your Dogecoin wallet address. I recommend that you actually copy and paste it into here versus going ahead and trying to type it out because you don't wanna make a mistake. 
If you guys don't own a crypto wallet yet and you want one that I recommend, I'll go ahead and list the Tangem wallet down below in the video description. I highly recommend it and I use several of them. So from my wallet, I've copied my Dogecoin address. And in here, I'm going to go and paste it directly in here. And there's actually a little button right here to paste. And there it is. My Dogecoin address is in there and ready to go. Now, there is a field for referral and I have a referral code. And what does that do for you? What does that do for me? Well, if you enter my referral code, it actually gives you lower fees. Unminable charges a fee. It's a very small, small percent fee. And if you actually use, I think it's like one or 1.25, don't quote me, percent of your mining goes to the unminable platform. However, if you use my referral code, hobbyist, just H-O-B-B-Y-I-S-T, it will go ahead and drop that down to 0.75. So you benefit from it. Well, what does it do for me? Well, it actually adds a referral to my referral program. And every about six months, I get a small payout of Dogecoin from all the people that have used my referral code. So it's a win-win across the board. Thank you. So next step is we're going to go ahead and click start. We're back over on Unminable's website and there's the dashboard that I want to show you. And there's a lot of really good controls that you should know about. So we're going to click view all at the top and we're going to type in Doge or whatever coin that you're looking to get earned with. And it's going to go ahead and bring up Dogecoin at the top. Next, we're going to go to address. Now, mine's already pre-populated, but let me take a quick step backwards so you guys can follow along. I'm going to hit back. The address at the top, after you select address, will pop up. We're going to paste in our Dogecoin address and hit search. It's now going to show that I have seven or 2.74 Dogecoin available to me. And there's a little box right here. It says auto pay once a day whenever my balance is over 30 Doge. I think this is traditionally unchecked. I always come in here and check it. Mine's been checked for a while. If you guys want to get your payouts every single day, once it hits 30 does, check, check it off. However, if you're like, eh, I want less transactions, I'll come in once a week. You can just select the payout now and it will force a payout at that moment to your Dogecoin wallet address. Now, other things to take a look at while you're in here. This is kind of a cool dashboard available. You can look at like payments and see your payment history of all the different Dogecoin that you've bought paid and when it's been paid. You can come over to workers and your worker will appear in here when it begins registering on the platform. You can also go over to live and it will show you uh, your live workers available to you. If it's been a few minutes and you're not seeing anything, it's sitting at zero, zero. Well, let's take a closer look together. So there's a gear at the bottom. Click on the gear. And this is kind of your advanced settings out there. So select your mining hardware. We're going to use the CPU. And it even says here, get the best performance and rewards with your GPU. Be sure to previously check minimum requirements. We're running a 3060 in this rig, so I'm pretty comfortable there. Select your GPU memory, six gigabytes. It allows you to change what algorithm you want to run on that actual um, card. I'm going to select Kapow, which was already selected. The miner is selected as well. And uh, as well as we are set, select your mining intensity. Now, normal is selected. You can come in here and go to custom and you can do any custom parameters, but we're going to leave it at normal. And finally, what port on your computer you want it to use? We're going to use 3333 and we're going to go click save and restart. All right. So after restarting the program there, we can see that um, we're actually getting a UAC pop up in Windows 11, letting us know, hey, SRB miner wants to run. We only have to do this the first time. So we're going to click allow and it's going to go ahead and we can close out here and let's give it a minute. So we've been running for just a few minutes now, and you can see not only do we have local hash rate, but effective hash rate. Effective hash rate is actually what the pool is seeing. And this is definitely delayed. So give it a few minutes back over on Unminable on our dashboard. We've entered in our address and let's take a look and see what we have. So under live, we can actually see one worker is connected and earning us some Dogecoin. Under workers, there is absolutely a delay here. They said even up to an hour, you can see on the hash rate when it comes down to your speed. So keep that in mind. So that's it. When you guys are sleeping or at work or at school or your computer's idle, come on in here and start that miner and let it run to earn you a little extra cryptocurrency on the side. As I mentioned before, this is a great introduction to crypto mining using the hardware that you already have. If you guys have more questions, you're intrigued, you want to learn more, you want to find out how you can get more hash rate, more horsepower, 
come on over to the Hobbyist Miner Discord. I'll leave a link directly down below. We have almost 10,000 people over there that can answer your questions. Well, guys, that's going to wrap things up for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. What's up, guys? Sorry to interrupt your video, but want to keep you in the know. So are you new at mining or you're just looking to get step into it? You're not sure what hardware you want to buy. You're not sure what build you want to do. Need some help? Maybe you're building your first mining rig and you literally need help step by step installing HiveOS. Maybe you're so far away from mining, but you're looking at it and you just need somebody to bounce some ideas off of. Well, I offer one on one calls with the community and I've done boatloads, some really cool ones. I've helped people set up ASIC miners in the Dominican Republic. I've helped someone troubleshoot their very first GPU mining rig. I've chatted with a guy looking to open up a farm and just wanted a sounding board. I've helped someone else build and set up and configure their brand new Casper miners. Well, I'm here to help and I'd love to work with you. If you guys need one-on-one -on -one help, I offer it and I love doing it. So there's a link directly down below to thehobbyistminer.io. Go over there and schedule some time with me. All right, back to the video.